You said sur the fear of surrender. That's what you said first, right? Yeah. Okay. So what is what do we think is on the other side of the fear of surrender? <coughs> Talk it through. You're, our, everybody in here has the answer for themselves about the thing that they ten billion things we're scared of. Well, like it related to me, or like from an intellectual point, I know, but as it relates to me. Guess. Well, speak it. However, you want to speak it. What's on the other side of surrendering? Yeah. The unknown. Okay. But what does that represent for you about why it's so scared? Why it's so scared? <coughs> the opposite of how I run things, which is like constantly in my head. Uh, okay. Always in my head. Okay. Life. Like, you know what I mean? It's just like 11 gnomes talking at once. <laughs> See, amazing. I never knew that about you. Okay, great. Oh, always. Whoa. Always. Well, like, when I was growing up, like, it was always like that. But well, Christian, for wait, me no. to experience the moments <coughs> of surrender and joy, I mean, that's why... That's what gravitates me to the work, and that's what started me like moving from sport to fucking dancing and shit on stage. Because that was the moment where I was like, "Holy shit, time just fucking went." And that's I've been Got chasing it. that, but I think okay. I'm trying to get it as a. Like, <laughs> does that make sense? You you were, and it's good because this is why I really respect you. You're seeking things, but you know how like we talked about climate change, and you listen to that podcast, and then you're gonna get that book. And I know spiritually you've asked me about books. And, and and so listen, it's very important that people awaken to their own self-realization. And that it's all of it. But there's a part of you that is chasing it to get to an end aha. Now there are ahas in everything in the chasing of it. So it's all inclusive. But my point is, is it's almost like you're trying to fix or figure everything out as if there is a final finish yeah. line. Mm -hmm. And then you'll finally be able to surrender because you're, <coughs> you've got all these other things stacked into place that help you intellectually understand, well, now I'm ready to surrender. That's so fucking true. Well, why do you think I got up like a shot? <laughs> it's like, so, so then, you read the, go ahead. Yeah, no, so then So you like, read, what? The next <laughs> So you read the great spiritual books and you, you understand climate change, you understand the politics of climate change, and you listen to Joe Rogan's podcast and you're, you're doing all the right things. That's so true because like, I think I'm up to like 200 fucking books just like See? shipped back home and I'm like, no, now's the time when you stop. And then you finish reading like Alan Watts and you got like eight more authors to go through. I'm like, no, <laughs> fucking stop Alan reading. Watts is great though. But, Amazing. Go. But, like, <laughs> but yeah. I apply a quarter of a percent of what I know. It's like, no. it's like there's something in the chase that keeps me on this loop. Yes, this without is actually this is and the it, thing. And it's it the parallels in the fucking works. It's so it's the loop of doing. And so you're mm. you're ready to apply more than a quarter, but you're trying to figure out the application. You guys, it doesn't look like that. It sounds so stressful too. <laughs> What? Say it again? It just sounds so stressful when you say it. But but it's not. If you just no, like what I'm doing. Oh yeah. Is like just stupid. Well, no. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's no, it's a it. young man really trying to figure out his place in the cosmos. For sure. Yeah. You now some people think like I I'm always just mystified how people think that the, this is like like Target is real. <laughs> Or, or, or like a city street is real. It's all made. We are living on a chunk of rock in the middle of outer space. <laughs> Hello, kids. This is not real. I mean, it's so bizarre. I mean, it's relatively real, but it's not in the big scheme of. I, I, was I saying? I haven't written down the statistic that what we know, what we know, is less than one percent, point zero one percent of what exists in the cosmos. What everybody knows on this planet right now, even the most genius people like Stephen Hawking, rest in peace, or Einstein, only know 0.01% of what exists in this universe. This is just this universe. Forget about other galaxies and other constellations. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So my point is, is I'm really, I applaud people who are, that is our job as artists. It's our job to be more awake to the mystery of it. And so that's what you're trying to figure out, as opposed to I'm just going to disconnect, go to Target, disconnect. I don't know why I'm picking on Target. It's a lovely place. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, but, but Christian, I think you're using that as a way ooh, to disconnect. 
Oh, okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Look at what your body just did. Yeah. There, 